and welcome to today's video. So today I am actually in a location, so I'm not just in my bedroom like I normally am. I am actually right now in the Radisson Blue Hotel um, at Manchester Airport and I am here with the lovely guys from World Duty Free. So I am here on their September event where myself and a couple of other bloggers have been invited along to spend an evening at Manchester Airport exploring the beauty ranges at Duty Free. I've checked into the Radisson Blue Hotel Manchester Airport for the night so I'm going to give you a little tour of the room. It's so nice that they've put us up here and also I'll show you in a second my room literally just looks right over the airport so you can see all the aeroplanes and you can actually see them um, starting to move and like refuel and stuff. Very exciting. So yeah, I'm just going to give you a little tour of the hotel and then I'm going to go through what looks like a lovely little goodie bag that has been left on my bed from the guys at World Duty Free. So let's go. look really strange on camera like I've got really white hair and big blue eyes and um, I'm gonna flip it over the other way and give you a bit of a walk through so I'm actually staying in a business suite room which is very nice and as you come through you've got the very very big bed and some lovely treats from World Duty Free on the bed now the first thing I noticed when I came through was a little bottle of Prosecco which is just always needed and hello Toblerone Oh my gosh, I will be nibbling on that soon. Um, how comfy and big does that bed look? Absolutely lovely. Nice little TV on the wall. I've got my desk set up over there, which is brilliant because I will be doing some work here tomorrow morning. Um, little armchair over in the corner. And this is the view of the aeroplane. So this would be a perfect hotel if you were one of those that really likes doing a bit of plane watching. Wow, it's really cool. You can actually see the whole of the airport there. I love Manchester Airport, it's like one of my favourite places. I just associate it with going away, obviously. Um, it's just one of them places that reminds me of when I was younger and I used to get really excited about flying on planes. Here I am. I'm really greasy today, I wasn't expecting it to be so warm and it was actually like 22 degrees when I was in my car driving here. Now I'm all sweaty and I haven't brought my full makeup kit with me either so that's no fun. I get a nice little coffee machine and some bottles of water which will be needed. I'm literally going to just guzzle one of those down straight away. I also spy a little wine glass which will come in handy for when I have my Prosecco. Okay guys, I've tried to find a little spot in this room where I can show you some of the lovely gifts that I have received from World Duty Free. The sun has seemed to move over there and I'm really squinting so um, I might have to like look in some funny directions or pull some funny faces one or the other. Yeah but let's have a little look at some of the lovely gifts. So I've shown you before the Toblerone and the Prosecco. So a nice little bottle of Batiga Gold which I will pop in the fridge because I am no doubt going to have this when I get back in tonight. This huge funky Hello from Britain Toblerone delicious. So one of the first products that the World Duty Free have kindly gifted me is the Kiehl's Soy Milk and Honey Body Polish which is this here. I'm always looking for a new body polish so and I love Kiehl's. Kiehl's has a really good reputation so this is a lovely addition to find in my bag. Keeping up with the Kiehl's theme is their Creme de Corps. So this is a superb all over body moisturiser. I've heard of this one before. It is quite a cult product. It's a really thick rich consistency and um, it's lovely and it's really non-greasy. So that's nice to find in the bag too. So now I have been completely spoiled with a luxury fragrance which is from Mason Margiela. 
it's a Paris brand, so I might not have pronounced that right. And the scent itself is Beach Walk by Replica. So I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not going to smell it just yet, but I think I'm going to keep this as one of those premium ones that's like a little present for me. Um, I love premium, more unique scents. And then we've got Giorgio Armani, which is a lovely little addition to see in the bag. Again, premium designer makeup. Um, as you guys know, I am a makeup artist, so I can literally never have enough makeup. And the more premium, the more that it deserves its place in my professional makeup kit. Um, it's just one of those things as a makeup artist, you just want the very best. I'm so sorry about the sun. You want the very best of the products to be with you at all times to use on clients. Um, so this is a two lip maestro intense velvet colour, two lip colours there, it's a travel exclusive so they are travel size, um, so as you can see the colours look like a red and a little bit of a pink, so they will be nice, I will either keep them for myself or add them to my professional kit, who knows, I might fall in love with them and have to sneak them myself. And then going aside from makeup, which is a nice, nice touch, is a little box from Buckley London. So let's see what's in here. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, there's a little note here that says, be happy, be loved, be you. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, oh, some lovely, it's basically a free pack of stud earrings that are silver plated. So I don't know how well you can see this on camera. If you can, and I'm trying to just get my squinty face out of the camera and um, I always wear silver jewelry so this is actually really nice because if they were gold I would have probably been a little bit, bit like I don't wear gold but they're so beautiful that I'll just have to wear them anyway but they're silver so it's all good um, I never really think to shop for jewellery when I go to World Duty Free. I always think of it as a top up on some of my luxury makeup items and skincare and fragrance, alcohol of course. But yeah, I never think about jewellery so that's nice to see. I absolutely love the brand Omravitsa and I think this is a new brand that has came to World Duty Free. Um, I used to be a beauty editor before going full time in this industry and doing makeup and basically it was an American beauty brand that I used to look after the PR and marketing and Omvitsa was one of the best selling brands on the site so I just know how luxurious and well known and respected this brand is with beauty professionals. So in this kit I have a deep cleansing mask, a cleansing foam, balancing moisturiser, a thermal cleansing balm and the Queen of Hungry Mist. Now the Queen of Hungry Mist is one of the best sellers for Omravitsa and I do remember this from the days that I used to work closely with the brand. It's literally like a refreshing and moisturising mist but it's also cooling and then on the other hand it sets your makeup as well so it's got like tons of uses. So I'm going to open the box up and just be careful. I'm going to be careful with it. I'm not telling you guys to be careful. I'm like, just be careful with the box so that items don't fall out of it. Um, this is the little set. Ah, I'm so paranoid they're going to fall out. What a lovely tree. I'm really super excited to have my own Omravitsa. So thank you very much, World Duty Free. It's amazing when you think about all the things that you can actually get from World Duty Free when you go to the airport. Um, it's like one of my favourite bits of being at the airport. Anyway, this evening I am going to go on a shopping spree there and I'm going to be using it, and this sounds really lame, but I'm going to be using it as a chance to get some of my favourite key items that I love having in my professional makeup kit. Um, there's a few primers, there's a few eyebrow pencils, there is a few contours, matte eyeshadows, a few different things that I really class as staple items in my kit and they tend to be from brands such as MAC, Bobbi Brown, YSL, Urban Decay. Um, all these brands, oh Smashbox, because I need my eye, eyebrow pencil from Smashbox. All these brands are available at World Duty Free, so I'm going to use this as a really good chance to go and stock up on my kit before I get low of some items. Um, so I will no doubt be showing you what I get tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to get cracking with about half an hour of work because I've been driving here today, I got stuck in traffic and we're all meeting in the hotel reception soon, so myself and some other bloggers and we're going to go on our shopping spree. I'm going to guzzle down some water because I'm hot and I'm sweaty and um, I brought a packet of crisps with me <laughs> which is nice and nutritious and I think I might, um, I might even open this if I'm naughty. Eek. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Catch you later.
so I'm, I'm now back home. I'm not actually in the hotel anymore or at Manchester Airport. The next morning after my incredible shopping spree, um, we all went for dinner. And then in the morning, I just wanted one of those really lazy mornings where I get my laptop out and I just like kind of lounge around in my hotel dressing gown. Doesn't everybody do that when you stay in a hotel? And just catch up on a bit of work and do a little bit of social media from the night before. And you know when you just look at your camera and think, I don't want to film myself because I look so tired and I had no makeup on and I just didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, so far I'll wait till I'm back home and I'm a little bit more spruced up and a bit more ready. And then I'm just going to quickly show you some of the items that I bought. After I had been on the Manchester Airport World Duty Free trip, I was doing bridal makeup the next day as well. So some of the items that I purchased, I put directly into my professional makeup kit and they're still in the boot of my car. I'm on a bit of a time schedule, so what I'm going to do is just show pictures of them instead, um, so I don't physically have them here. But I'm going to whiz through them all. Um, I got some really, really super good treats. Um, I did really well with some of the items that I picked up. So I kind of done like half self-indulgence and half work items, but then my work items are fun and they're what I use, so it's all good. So I brought this little red bag out with me to prompt me that I made a purchase at YSL. Um, I went up to the YSL counter, they filled this with lots of little samples and lots of little goodies from the brand. Um, but what my purchase was, was the All Hours Foundation. Um, it is a pricier foundation and I have seen it before, obviously with working in makeup and always wanted to try it, just never did. So anyway, I purchased it and I used it on my brides yesterday and it is fantastic. I actually used it on myself as well um, the next day when I got ready. Um, the girls at the counter said that if you just put a little bit on the back of your hand, put your um, foundation powder, foundation brush into the liquid and buff it around your face, you only really need like one or two drops and you've got a full coverage that's going to last all day. And my skin is horrendous at the moment, so I thought that it wasn't going to do the job as much, but it was incredible. It's like a really, it's, it's a thick consistency, but I like that for a good coverage. So it's, it is more of an evening makeup. It kind of has the staying powder of Estee Lauder Double Wear, but there's just something a little bit more, maybe a little bit more glossy and dewy about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial and show you, and, and show you what it looks like on my face, but that was like my main treat purchase to myself. I also went a little bit crazy at Urban Decay. I also picked up their eyeshadow primer. So what that is, it's basically like, it looks like a little mascara so you pull it out of a tube. Um, and then what's on the cushion, it's like a skin coloured, glossy, like setting liquid that you prime your eyelids with. Um, I've heard great things about this in the past and I have used it when I've like when I've had the odd makeup master classes over the years. I've just never really purchased it for my kit. So that was a treat item for myself and my kit as well. It's a brilliant, brilliant eyelid primer. Again, I used that on my brides yesterday. So I don't have it with me at the moment. So, so, so good. And then I got the Naked 2 palette because this Urban Decay palette has all your nude shadows in and I really needed a palette. You know when I have like older clients um, when I'm doing my weddings and occasions and they don't want shimmer, I don't want anything that's really going to look too, too wow or bring everything out. They just want a nice matte, natural finish. Um, I have a lot of mattes and they're always like mixed into all of the other palettes. It's just going to be a staple one for my kit. I just wanted that little palette with all the mattes. So I have it, but the next one is super special. So this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, it's basically got a mixture of your shimmers and your mattes and it has, in my opinion, all the colours that you need and all the colours that I want in my kit as well. That I probably have every single colour in here in various different palettes. But it was just something about the layout of this one and how all the mattes were mixed with the shimmers and they're in little colour coordinated strips. You've got your warm ones here and then your neutrals and then your bolds. But I'll show you. Ta-da! 
I just think it's a perfect palette. I'm obsessed with palettes. I, I do get a little bit carried away with eyeshadow palettes. This one by Urban Decay, it's a new launch, it's absolutely fantastic. They also gave me a sneak peek of the Cherry palette, which is just launching. And um, you probably saw that in the snippets before. It was so exciting to actually have a look at it because they've just not landed in the UK properly yet. So I stocked up at MAC Cosmetics as well. MAC is like my very favorite, it's my go-to. It's just a classic makeup brand that works well for my everyday essentials and for my kit. Um, a lot of the things are in my kit because I use them straight away the next day, but one essential that I had to pick up was a MAC eyeliner in Baroque. It's like a shimmery brown shade and I use this on my own um, on the bottom lash line and on clients, especially for those with blue eyes or grey eyes. It's like a shimmery dark brown, you probably can't see it much here. And it, it's just fantastic. It, the consistency, the texture, it's just my favourite go-to eyeliner. So, of course, I used it as a chance to stock up. And the legendary Strobe Cream, which I have used in my tutorials on YouTube before. I like to mix this with the Bobbi Brown Face Base, which I also picked up. This is a vitamin enriched primer for the face and it smells of like lemons and oranges and it's literally fantastic. The consistency is so thick but it melts right into the skin. It's moisturising, it gives a glow, it like gives a, that clarity to the skin but more importantly it primes the skin for makeup. I always put a little bit of a scoop of this onto the back of my hand, squeeze a bit of Maxtro cream onto it, get my makeup brush, from my, um, like a stippling brush and then brush this all around my clients' faces before starting with the foundation or concealer. They're both quite pricey, so it was a great chance to shop these at Duty Free because obviously you get them at better prices. Another one from MAC is one of my favourites, which is the Queen Supreme palette. I have shown you this before on my, Insta on my Instagram and on my YouTube because I'm actually such a big fan of this, I had to go and buy it again. Um, so I've got two sets, one for me, one for my kit. Just can't go wrong with those array of colours. I also purchased a foundation from Bobbi Brown and a long-lasting concealer from Bobbi Brown, which is a liquid one. Um, I have just seen good things about the concealer over the years, and although I do have some very good concealers that I would use myself and in my kit, there's just something about Bobbi Brown shades that don't have that pinkiness in them. They're very yellow based, which I love and I find great for the under eye circles here. It just really brightens. So I purchased one of those. And then I got some skincare from Kiehl's. So because I keep saying at the moment that my skin is majorly breaking out, um, I asked the lady at the Kiehl's counter for some advice and she recommended um, the Blue Astringent Herbal Lotion, which is a toner and it has salicylic acid in, I never pronounced that right, but I got it right this time. I actually bought the cleanser too, so I got both of them together. Um, the cleanser is still in my car, but I do have a mini sample here. Um, I've been using these now for two days since the event. They both work well with moisturiser as well, but didn't actually have the moisturiser in stock, but it was nice that she recommended it to me, so I will keep an eye out for it. It's a shame I couldn't pick it up on the night, because obviously duty free prices do tend to be a little bit better. But so far, since I've been using these, I have seen that my spots are really drying out. So I don't think these products are going to just stop acne breakouts, but when I have them, they will just like clear them up. I'm really impressed so far, but I do think that two days is too quick to properly review an acne range. But touch wood that it carries on being this good. I also got lots of samples from Kiehl's. Last but not least, I picked up some eyebrow pencils from Smashbox. Um, Smashbox and NYX are my new favourite brands for eyebrow pencils. The ones that you twist up and then they have the little brush at the end so you can brush your brows and then brush the product through. Um, they just have really good brunette dark brown shades that work well with my brows. Um, I think they came, I think the Smashbox one might have been £17. I'm going to double check that and I also stocked up on that so I, I got two. One for me, one for my kit. That's always the way. I treat myself, then treat my kit. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Before I whiz off, because um, I am going to an event today and I'm going to film a little bit whilst I'm there just so you can see what's happening. It is a fake big event. I've got this sassy little necklace on today and I don't actually wear necklaces. I stopped wearing necklaces for a long time. But this is from a new store called BB, which is opening up in the Trafford Centre in Manchester. It's opening up in the Selfridges because it, even though it's like fashion accessories, they're very premium and very luxury, really high quality. Um, and I have got this necklace from them, if you can see it. 
So it's like a layered silver draping necklace. Um, so I thought I would wear it today for my event and um, see how I feel wearing a necklace. I absolutely love this one. I feel like it's very special. I feel like it's very layered and it has a little bit of that bohemian style, which isn't usually my style, so I feel a bit different. Um, but I just thought I would give you a mention of that in case any of you are wondering where it is from. Anyway, I'm going to shoot off, but I'm going to film some bits of my day. So thank you very much for watching. And a huge, huge thank you, up to now, just before I move on to the next bit, to the amazing team at World Duty Free and Manchester Airport and the Radisson Blue Hotel at the airport. It genuinely is like the best blog event that I ever go to. I went last year, couldn't rave about it enough. Um, Manchester Airport is a fantastic place to shop in the world duty free and it's not a place that I can get to go to often but then seeing like the, how different the prices are from in your department stores and just the big array of brands that they have now like Terminal 1 is fantastic I was really blown away at the offerings especially for the beauty so yeah huge thank you to all those teams <music> from the fake bake launch so as you can see from some of the footage I went into Manchester and at cloud 23 it was a beautiful launch party for a brand new product that fake bake have launched and they put on some lovely food for us some lovely coffee themed drinks to celebrate national coffee day so I had a beautiful orange flavored espresso martini and I also had the nicest white Russian it was so so good firstly I'm just gonna apologize though that like I got really rained on and I just looked pretty much horrendous I've scraped my hair up but I'm having another completely like horrendous bad skin day at the moment so I am sorry for this right now um, but I'm just gonna show you quickly the new launch from fake bake that we were celebrating today so I'm just holding the camera it's a bit like this at the moment so it's quite a bad angle so it is called I'm going to try and get this right because I've been talking about it all day on social media today if you don't already follow me on Instagram you should that's just a shameless little plug um, and that's just purely because you just get to see what I'm up to in like first hand real life rather than like a couple of days later when I get around to editing the pictures so the product is the fake bake double shot espresso tan ultimate gel and it is a streak free easy application instant tanning gel so you get some gloves to put this on so it's not a mitt applicator product it is an application glove product and it's supposed to be quite a dark tan so it'd be good for those of you that can't be bothered with the whole you know gradual building it up and um, letting the color develop and go to quite a few shades before you desired one this is like kind of an immediate dark tan so I'm actually really looking forward to trying this out and um, I've bronzed up my face today so not usually this brown <laughs> oh can you see the nice highlighter that's from a MAC palette 
the one that I got at the airport. It's so shimmery. Just noticed it now. I haven't got my contact lenses in, so everything's a little bit blurry on this camera, but all I can just see is the shine. And whilst we were at the event, I also got my hands on a product from Fabic that I have tried before and I absolutely loved it. And I have no idea why I didn't purchase it again. Probably because as a blogger, I have been sent quite a lot of tanning brands over the time. And I've just been like playing around, trying them all out. But this one is one that I, I do remember fondly. I absolutely love it. And it is the Fake Bake Airbrush Self Tan Mist. And it comes in the gold tin so I'm um, not going to get it right out right now because I'm holding this camera and shaking around but it comes in the gold aerosol can and it's like an instant one so you can airbrush it onto your skin and they're the type that I actually prefer because I'm so lazy and I just like to do things in a rush so I'm over the moon to have received this and I'm going to start putting this on I actually have a girls night out this weekend um, and I'm going to spray this on before I go out it's been so long since I've actually used a good quality um, instant self tan that comes in a mist they also gave us this lovely bag you can see it taking over the camera I'm still here which contained a few little goodies like some false lashes and a contour stick which was very very nice of the team at agency and fake bake I thoroughly enjoyed my day today there was a lovely crowd of influencers there it was really really nice to see everyone so we are coming to the end of this video and I have been saving the very best thing until last so guys I have decided to give a massive £1,000 giveaway um, and the winner will have to just subscribe to my YouTube and join me on Instagram. That's literally all you have to do. It's just so that I know that um, whoever wins is someone who has been quite loyal and has followed my content and has been liking and commenting. Just someone that has followed my journey um, and it's just my way of thanking them really. Um, but basically the reason I am doing such a huge £1,000 giveaway it's because I know that Christmas is coming up and I will have loads of Christmas gift guides. So what I want to do is I want to give away a huge bundle of a lot of products that I've been saving up for a long time that I've wanted to include in all my gift guides. And it's kind of a way of just thanking a real loyal follower. But because my social media channels have hit a lot of the targets that I wanted to reach recently, I really wanted to get close to 40,000 on Instagram and I am almost there. Um, I also am very, very close to my first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So it's kind of like a 1,000 celebration for me. Um, you are going to absolutely love the products in the giveaway and I'm going to go through them with you right now. So I've decided to put my glasses on now so I can actually see a little bit better. And I'm just going to go over and show you um, a little snippet of some of the items that are going to be included in the big £1,000 giveaway. I'm not going to show you everything because I have some surprises from Barry M, from Benefit, from Stila, from Bobbi Brown and a few other big makeup brands. I am also going to be giving away £250 worth of dresses from an online boutique. Um, and what will happen is I will get your dress size and £250 of stylish, trendy, fast fashion dresses will be sent to you as part of the 1000 giveaway. I'm putting a few pictures either side at the moment and they are an example of the style of dresses that will be coming. Um, so perfect, perfect, perfect for the party season. So alongside £250 worth of dresses and some luxury makeup, here's some other things that are included. So we have some designer watches. So we've got two here and the first one is from Accurist and this is absolutely divine and I really want to keep it for myself so I'm a little bit gutted but either way this is so so pretty it's such a beautiful watch you can see that it's got diamantes encrusted around the side and this retails for a hundred pounds I think it is it gets 99 pounds um, a nice silver plated bracelet here which is like the strap detail um, so this is a ladies watch and this has been it's brand new never been used it's absolutely perfect either to keep for yourself as a treat or why not treat a loved one for Christmas and I also have a Ross Bannon watch as well which I have worked with them before for a giveaway for you guys and it went down really well and again it's a silver strap gorgeous ladies watch if you've got like that mesh detail strap here um, Again, this should be worth about £95, so there you go, all together we've got like £200 worth of designer watches. And then for the lash queens out there, I have over £100 worth of luxury 3D lashes and a range of different styles, all in this beautiful, satty little lash bag. 
So here we've got lots of different trays of 3D lashes. These are like 3D volume, false lashes, strip lashes. Um, really dramatic styles and also a few more subtle ones. Nice and wispy, big fluffy lashes. And then there's also a few Halloween styles which are here. Perfect for dressing up. Um, you've got Ardell, you've got Lord and Berry. Ardell is one of my personal favourite lash brands. But oh my god, look at all these. Like absolutely spoiled for a lash lover. And then a super exciting one is the Clarisonic. So this is the Mia One in white, which is coming in the giveaway. Um, a perfect little set from Benefit, which has, oops, sorry, which has four fun size products there. Oh my God, Hula. I absolutely love the Hula bronzer in a cool little um, holographic bag. I've thrown in some exciting new launches from Stila. Um, Stila is such a fantastic makeup brand, so that's a real treat because I actually absolutely love them and want to keep those for myself. Um, a daily journal, which is gorgeous. Look at the print of this, it's so, so nice. I don't want to open it up for you because I'm going to keep it sealed, but that's a perfect one to start next year with, although it's not dated, so you could start using it right away. And then let's not forget about luxury skincare and hair care. So there is a range of premium brands here, um, including J one which is a K beauty brand who are one of the biggest selling brands and fastest selling brands in Sephora so we've got their range of primers night creams and moisturizers there there is also some fantastic premium hair care brands a Dermalogica skincare set and then absolutely spoiled for choice with face masks and those really nourishing eye pads that you put underneath your eyes Soothe the eye bags, so many foil masks and sheet masks, it's actually like sheet mask, face mask heaven. There's also a hand mask here. And then one of the favourites from Estee Lauder, which is raved about, it's supposed to be so, so good. Really, really want to keep that one for myself, but I'm just going to be super generous here. And then I'm totally not going to show you everything else that you can get your hands on, but I'm going to do a little tease because there will be treats from Real Techniques and some brushes and some skincare collagen supplements. So many little treats from Real Techniques in here. And there are treats from Ardell. There are treats from Sleek, a little sassy highlighter palette, which is really fantastic. You can just see me then through the camera. And there are Kiehl's and there are loads of liquid eyeshadows and liquid lip glosses in here. Um, brushes, there's Bobbi Brown products. That is literally everything. I'm just giving you a little sneaky peek here. Just want to go rummaging. Um, lipsticks, eyeliners, there's brow products. I'm actually just going to leave it right there. So that's everything guys, um, good luck in the giveaway, it is going to be running for about two or three weeks, um, all the information will be below and it will be one lucky person who wins that £1,000 fashion and beauty giveaway. So again, thanks for watching this video guys, um, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram because that is one of the ways to enter this and honestly I really really appreciate everyone's support at this time because I'm trying to get into the whole YouTube world after years of running a blog and an Instagram channel and then this has been the next thing. So yeah, um, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching me today guys and I will be back. See you soon. Bye!